thank you for having me. And I'm going to talk, I'm a nurse, um, so also a mental health, and, um, mental health and psychiatric nurse specialist, so I'm going to focus a lot on that. This is my conflicts of interest. And as we all know, HIV care needs have shifted over the years. Now we have a chronic disease that is resulting in long-term care needs with a lot of healthcare professionals on the way. So we have wider uh, health issues and we are focusing right now in health-related quality of life. And as Laura said, nurses have been there since the beginning and they have learned and they have shared their knowledge with us. And thank you for them for having a nurse perspective space in HIV care right now. So thank you to all of the nurses and they have talk about these forces of magnetism. I have highlighted some of these qualities, but I have to say that we have always been engaged with quality of care, with communication and caring. Because for us nurses, the nursing role is universal. As Laura has said, the, the way that care is delivered is not the same across the European Union, but the, the dimensions of care for us nurses is exactly the same. The patient is in the center of care, so we raise awareness, we educate, we, we have effective communication because we are excellent in teamwork as well. We are always learning, look at us, and we are always looking for more research and to know how to do better. Regarding the nursing process, this is also universal. It has unique characteristics for the nursing role with the patient in the center of care is interpersonal because we have to engage with the person for the common goal as better health outcomes. We have collaborative uh, skills for all the team or the inter interdisciplinary team. We are dynamic and cycling because we know that needs are going to be uh, affecting each other and requires critical thinking. I would say this is a vital request for being a nurse because we always do better and have to think outside the box. Regarding the nurse care plan, this is always universal as you can imagine um, because we have to establish report, we have to engage with a non-judgmental uh, communication with the patients, of course, to evaluate mental health and physical health. We have to discuss these lifetime lifestyle factors right now for health education, and we have to assess all the social determinants of nutrition and housing, and how can this interfere into adherence and into their life. We also provide a lot of education and support, and we review with them the lab results to engage with the plan that is um, put it. But we have challenges, more <laughs> these days, so the adherence is a problem, the linkage to care is a problem, and the retention in care is also a problem. And this is challenges in four levels, I would say, the individual level with a lot of barriers, and Laura has talked about um, migrants, and this is a big barrier, into the provider level, because most we know most of the times they are not accessible to care, and the system level is not the same everywhere, and the conte contextualized level, because this is a long term, and we have to assess all the barriers that we can find and all the solutions for these barriers, because in the end, we all want is good adherence, good linkage to care, and they retaining care for a long term. Well, and challenges of nursing, they are also out there and we need to address this because the perspective is different in either two ways. And I found this top three challenges that nurses are facing right now. This is a survey for this year. And I have to say motivation <coughs> is really important because most of us now, we are caring of too many patients in a day. We have a lot of hours spending to administrative tasks. And I think this is a problem in Portugal, I thought, but now I talk a lot of, with a lot of people not from Portugal. And I think this is a problem that a lot of our colleagues are leaving the profession. But I would say that nurses are 100% resilient, not only nurses and doctors and pharmacists and all the teams, because being in healthcare settings right now is really, really challenging. And the future. Well, 
This is a two-year future target, <laughs> and this represents, and I really like this, 90% of people living with HIV and at risk being linked to comprehensive HIV service and people-centered um, services and removing all the societal and impediments to enabling environmental of HIV services. And I don't know how we are going to do in this cascade, but personally, I think nurses work for this. And thinking in the future, I would say um, holistic care is not new for us. Holistic care is the center of the nursing uh, way that care is delivered, but I would say that we should focus in optimizing the successful aging wherever this care is, or wherever this um, puts along all the life cycle, cycle of the person that we are meeting. And we focus in different uh, intersectionalities right now of the HIV regarding cultural and languages <coughs> and genders, if we are a woman or a man, because this is really different and we need to assess that. But being, but being on mental health, I would say, and right now we are in the era that people don't have the time to be there. And I have to say that we need to be aware of what was really going on. We have to actively listen. This is one thing that we don't do so much these days because people are afraid of communicating their internal feelings and their external feelings as well. So for me, being a nurse in the future is always to be present because education has the ability to empower people for better health outcomes. And we need good health related quality of life and we only can do that being there, listening and just be engaged. Well, we all know, and I think right now of the universal <coughs> testing and universal um, assess to antiretroviral medication, the linkage to care and retention is being challenged all over the place because people really navigate a lot and the different access to antiretroviral is different. So we have specific populations <coughs> that we need to address would have to say that for the future, I think and I hope we all have solutions for the mental health because this is really important right now and I hope in the future we'll have no stigma. But the lack of supports in service, for example, in my country, for case managers, we don't have it. Uh, as well as counseling, we also don't have it. And the transportation assistant is really important. And I think, being an optimist, that for the future, I hope that we have effective communication, internal and external with all the teams. The inequalities in care, I think this is one barrier that we have to uh, overcome. We, I hope we have inclusive and health promoter clinics uh, and build a chronic holistic care model with universe standards of care that I think we all, all of us together can do that. Um, with the HIV Nurses Network Task Force all over uh, Europe. And I think nurses should be involved in policy, policy decisions making because nurses don't have a voice in that. And as I said, holistic care is a nurse field for sure. And I also have to talk about staff motivation. So it's important for better pace and we need more training and all the needs that we assess that we are not so trained to, to do the education for and we have to have resources. Well, the future is here and artificial intelligence, I think it should really aid the emotional intelligence that I really defend. So we need um, resources to addre address health related needs as patient report outcomes being digital. I think this is a big help, but we also need to have support service on demand and on time at the click to assess and promote mental health, transportation, housing, and loneliness. I think it's a really, really important issue that we need, we are going to face in the future and we will not have resources for that. Also, having this opportunity of um, digital tools for have all the interdisciplinary specialists linked and 
give us advanced training and assist us in what we need. Infovalence, I think, is also really important as well to have data because what nurses most of the time have is lack of time, but also not um, the knowledge to do more research and to publish more of what we do. And the information of navigation for the patient to, to be with the patient wherever he goes. And if sky is the limit, and for me it is, I would say that in the future we have equity. So no populations or whatever they live is left behind and zero stigma is really important and with um, HIV criminalization. And I really defend, and I have been talking about this for the past weeks, that we are all one community and this all community should lead. There are no doctors and peers and nurses community. We are all the community right now because the HIV care is changing and we need to be engaged with together to have more results in the future with no HIV um, to be present. So in conclusion, for me, um, being a nurse, I think for the future we need to assess the nursing role. This is really important. We need to be engaged with the emergency technologies that are out there. They can really help us and have more health-related quality of life of long-term being on medication for the patients. The future perspective of patient-centered care is also a need that we have to, to have written and be universal all around the world and engage with the community because we don't do anything alone. Um, because I really believe that this community is the solution for the path to end AIDS and I hope uh, we have a free AIDS-free generation. Thank you.